Grenade! Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today you are joining me at Horsley Hall or Horsley Hall, wherever you want to put the stress on the syllables and I thought we'd open with this clip here which is just me heading into the cellar of some random old building that as you can see is not looking in too great condition here and I thought while we're under here, before we get to the bomb shelters after this clip, I'd just explain where and if we are. So we're at a place called Marford, which is sort of between Wrexham and Chester, if anyone wants to Google those areas. And once upon a time, for a long, long time, there was a massive old uh, grand hall out here. But when World War Two broke out, the army took over the estate as they did with many around the country and turned it into a little military base and had i don't know what on earth going on here to be fair there's, there's so many buildings out here but basically it was used during the war then in the 50s the army uh, decommissioned it whatever the term is and then in the 60s the hall itself was demolished so basically you're looking at maybe about 60 years worth of uh, decay and just abandonment here as it currently stands. I randomly discovered this place by pure accident a couple of weeks before heading back as you can see with a torch and properly prepared and I just cannot believe once me and my dad went down here the sheer amount of stuff the, sh the unbelievable amount of old buildings there are and all the ruins it's just unbelievable out here. Um, so yeah, this was just the cellar, which I thought was an interesting thing. That's me, if anyone's curious, standing literally beneath a broken beam. But now, let's get on to these. These are the bomb shelters. And again, you can see that sort of humpback shape just sticking out of the ground there. And they've got an entrance and exit on each end. And, well, as you can see from this video and from all of the clips... From now on, for the rest of this video, I'm just showing you clips of different shelters and the amount of them there are. Just these alone show how many people must have been on this estate during the war. Again, that crack in the ceiling is matched by a mirrored crack going along the floor. Uh, they're not uh, not particularly safe places to be, I don't think. But, I mean, this is the ultimate sort of Indiana Jones place in the making as it stands. You've got literally abandoned military stuff here in the form of these shelters. And you've got nature really, really encroaching and really taking over. And you'll see here uh, just how much the years are weighing down and well, physically weighing down on these places. And there's quite a few of these uh, shelters about, as I say. And not all of them are in great condition, such as this one, for example. And if anybody thought that I was going to be walking underneath those cracked uh, cement slabs up there, then they were sadly mistaken. But all along that, you can see that there's a little bit of a egg shape to it rather than a perfect cylinder. And this was another one that I certainly wasn't going to walk through, as you can see. Again, just the amount of stuff. There's like an ornamental garden and a massive pond and all sorts out here. But this shelter itself has unfortunately become a little bit of a pond to say the least. Now, one of the things that I think is fascinating is, again, the sheer amount of destruction that nature has wrought on this place. Now, you'll see that better in my future video where I'm going to really do a long in-depth video showing you as many of the buildings as possible. Again, you can see this has got a bit of an egg shape to it and probably wasn't the safest place to go. It's not so much the fear of uh, having it crack while you're in there as disturbing the already cracked stuff and having anything fall or shift. It's not a, not a sensible thing. I certainly don't recommend this to many, well, to anybody. Make sure not to many people, to anybody at all. <laughs> don't do it, kids. Um, but as I was saying, it's amazing. Like, obviously, in the 60s, there was actual proper um, people there demolishing bits and pieces of this. But... When you see what's been left and how some of it is almost completely vanishing to grass and moss and vines, well, I say vines, to ivy and to brambles and stuff like that, it's just unbelievable. So yeah, I just thought that this was well worth sharing, just a few of these clips of 
the shelters themselves. Anyway, I'll wrap things up. I'll be back here with a proper long video showing you a load of above ground stuff too. But until the next time, my friends, check out my other videos for loads more stuff like this. If you want to help me out, please consider checking my short books about my life on a narrowboat. And well, find loads of links in the description. And until the next time, have a fantastic day. Keep it interesting. Keep it bomb worthy. And of course, my friends, farewell.